mean deviation. It is also known as average deviation. Now, as we studied dispersion, is scatteredness of observations from the measures of central tendency. So, now here, mean deviation. What is it? See, mean deviation. is equal to for raw data first for raw data sigma modulus xi minus x bar upon n now what is modulus modulus yani we ignore the negative sign and xi yani har ek observation ko hum kis se subtract karte from our mean so this formula itself explains the deviation of the observations from the mean is known as mean deviation. Now, if it is discrete and continuous, then the formula for mean deviation is equal to sigma fi modulus xi minus x bar upon n. It means what? What columns will have is you will have xi, you will have fi you will have modulus xi minus x bar and then you will have the column fi into modulus xi minus x bar it means if this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this will be 2 into 3 understood this xi hai, fi hai. xi minus x bar find karoge fir in dono ko multiply karoge to mil jayega is cut total is sigma fi into modulus xi minus x bar upon n. Now, if it is continuous, then what is xi? xi is equal to mid value. That's it. Now, is it way mil jayega mean deviation? But mean deviation is an absolute measure. So, relative measure is relative measure of mean deviation is known as coefficient of mean deviation which is equal to mean deviation upon mean. Page number 139, exercise 4.3, question number 1. The measurement of height in centimeters of 10 soldiers are given below. Find the mean deviation of the height of soldiers. So first let's write them. You may write ascending or not. For mean, it doesn't make a difference. But for to make it simpler, you may write ascending order. As a compulsion, okay? Page number 139. First, xi. Right vertical 158, 176 to the total sigma xi 1674 first is we have to find the mean x bar is equal to sigma xi upon n 1674 upon n is 10 which is equal to 167.4 total check karna please now the formula for mean deviation mean deviation is equal to sigma modulus xi minus x bar upon n. Now x bar find kar liya. These are xi. So now we have to find out xi minus x bar. x bar is 167.4 modulus. Yane there will be no negative Signs. So negative I will go ignore karna, ignore the negative signs. 9.4, So negative hai. These were all negative. We ignored the negative sign. That is modulus. Total. 50 exactly 50 therefore mean deviation is equal to 50 upon n is 10 
is equal to 5. Therefore, mean deviation coefficient of mean deviation is equal to mean deviation upon mean phi upon 167.4 0 0.029 0 0.029 Question number 2 The distribution of number of ball bearings used in a machine of a factory is given below Calculate the mean deviation and coefficient of mean deviation of number of ball bearings per machine. Now, we have to find mean deviation and the coefficient. What type of data is this? It's a discrete data. Okay, so lots of calculation. Liko. Second, number of ball bearings, xi, number of machines, fi. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. FI 2, 2, 4, 5, 3, 2, 1, 1, 20. So N is equal to 20. We have to first find mean. So FI into XI. We can use the shortcut, a direct method because calculators are allowed. And numbers are relatively small. One sixty. Therefore, x bar is equal to sigma f i x i upon n one sixty upon twenty, which is equal to eight. Right over your mean deviation is equal to sigma fi modulus xi minus x bar upon n. So formulas will decide the columns. Now what we want over here is we want first modulus xi minus x bar. Now what is mean? Mean is equal to 8 modulus xi minus 8 2 minus 8 is 6 4 2 0 2, 4, 6, 8. Now we have to multiply fi with modulus xi minus x bar. So we multiply this and this. So that is, you can draw line fi into modulus xi minus x bar. Listen to this 12, 8, 8, 0, 6. 8, 6, 8, 56. N is 20, so it is equal to 2.8. And coefficient of mean deviation is equal to mean deviation upon mean. 2.8 upon 8, 0.3. Answer. Question number 4, Pajo. Page number 139. Find the mean deviation and the coefficient of mean deviation of number of TV sets using the following frequency distribution of TV sets sold in last 16 months in a town. Now, what type of data is this? Continuous. So, over here we have class, we have frequency. So, we'll write class, then mid value, and then the frequency. Okay, let's write question 4. Number of TV set 10 to 30, 30 to 50, 50 to 70, 70 to 90. Frequency before we write, we write xi, the mid value 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. FI 14641. First, we have to find the mean x bar is equal to sigma fi xi upon n. So find out fi into xi, 20, 160, 360, 320, 100, 960. Find out mean force, 960 upon 16, 60. Now, we write the formula, mean deviation is equal to sigma fi modulus xi minus x bar upon n. So the next column is 
modulus xi minus x bar is 60, modulus xi minus x bar, 40, 20, 0, 20, 40. Now fi into modulus xi minus x bar. So it will be this into this, 40, 80, 0, 80, 40, 240. So mean deviation is equal to 240 upon 16, 15. Now coefficient of mean deviation is equal to mean deviation upon mean is equal to 0 0.25 by 4. 0.25.